Hello, this is Mike Schroot, and today we'll take a look at the wonderful software for musicians, and it's called Sibelius. And we're going to use the latest version, which is Sibelius 7. And in the first part of this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to open, edit, and select a score using some most uh, state-of-the-art technology of playing back and text and dynamics, which is extremely convenient to use. And then we'll create new score from scanning PDF and marking it up and have appropriate layout and formatting and exporting and all that fun stuff. So we'll start by starting Spalia 7. Every time you start a new score, you'll be presented with this page and you can select instrument. And let's say we'll start with a piano score. And there you can choose the paper. By default is the portrait letter and the house style, which will d largely determine what your score is going to appear like with this very casual font and the time signatures you can customize if you can't find yours and the pickup measure temple text and the key signatures okay so I'll just create a score right away and we can take a look at the interface so in Sibelius now is pretty much very similar with all the Microsoft Office product where all the commands are mostly grouped under these tabs called ribbons. Now, it's very much like Excel or Microsoft Word, a word where you have, have a file, home, no input, notations, text, play, layout, appearance, parts, review and view. Now, I'm going to introduce to you the most commonly used one. Uh, this keypad is for inputting notes and of critical importance, so in case you don't see it, here is how you're going to find it, under view, and panels, it's not that obvious, but keyboard is right here. And also another very useful thing is transport. Note that under most commands, if you hover your, mu uh, your mouse on that command, it will present to you the information here, it tells us transport, what it does is really a controller for your playback and you can have uh, other like mixer and uh, even keyboard again to hide them it just uncheck the box and you'll be back with your score to navigate the score of course you can use the navigator in the panel where you'll know exactly where you are in the score it's kinda of small on my screen but you can also simply just use the command and the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out of a score or simply the old fashioned lower right corner to zoom in and zoom out or command plus and command minus etc. So view is really will decide how your score is going to look like to you when you're inputting notes and panorama is another very handy feature when you want to see your all your score in one line because perhaps when you play back you just want to see the score horizontally from start to finish of course you can have try other commands so review is for marking up the score after you pretty much have finished the uh, original work you can add new comment uh, here notations and note input is also very frequently used note input includes all the things you encounter from reduction of a score, uh, swapping voices, record from a MIDI input devices, etc. Respelling accidentals, triplets, etc. And notations include, you know, adding all these fancy lines and slurs. And in text you can add the tempo and uh, harmony figured bass and all things that compose a name, all things that you can imagine that are the elements of a music score. So in the home, of course, is the most frequently used, including a selected graphic to export into a Microsoft Word, for example, as the snippet of music. And also filters help you to locate exactly what you need. So we'll start with a... So we just talked about playback and dynamics, and text and dynamics, etc. Now we will use another very handy feature which you can scan the score. So how you do this is under home you would un in uh, not input devices, I actually kind of forgot um, oh right, file and new 
and import, you should import from Photo Score. Of course, if you bought Sibelia 7, it's a light version, the trial version is included. So you want to launch that. And when you launch that, it will very annoying every time it will ask you what is your name and what is your company. So you just type it in. And the photo score will be opened where you can input your score. Now, for example, I have on my desktop, I have a beautiful song by Schubert right here. So what you can do rather than inputting everything on your own, you can perfectly scan it using photo score. For the sake of time, I'll not do it, but I'll show you how. So in photo score, you can open PDF and locate your file and click open, which I just did. And it will, and then after you're done, you can file, save, open in Sibelius or command D. So, this is the scan score. For the trial version, you get 12 bars for free, and you're not able to edit the triplets. So triplets are manually edited by me here, but it's pretty cool. If you really like this functionality, you might, you might want to consider purchase the full version. So these are the way that you can scan a score. To change the key signature is type K, and to change time signature, time T, Slur is S. Now it's you see the mouse button is turning blue. So if I do this, there will be a slur. Undo Command Z. And uh, and finally, af after you're done with your score, you can export it into PDF or Music XML. So you can do that by clicking File. Export. What I really like to do also is to export into uh, you know audio such as the general MIDI or the um, AIFF. And there's another scroll down where you can have more sp if you have more specific need for the kind of MIDI files you want to create. A music XML is really a standard that can be opened in many other music software and of course most frequently used is also PDF by clicking export you can have a file created for you now I'll just export a PDF and this file is just created a lovely PDF that I just created okay thanks for